Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will learn one awesome trick which is useful in dashboard reporting in Microsoft Excel. And we will learn that how to create an interactive uh, conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. So we will be having a view um, in which we will click certain buttons and that conditional formatting scenario will change. So from the very basic, I will uh, give you the a demonstration that how to create a view that changes the conditional formatting scenario uh, for that we have to do five to six steps so let's get started uh, I have a data uh, month wise and year wise which and we want to create four different situations within the conditional formatting uh, we want to uh, we want to get highlighted top 10 values within this data uh, we also want to uh, highlight the top bottom 10 uh, values within this data uh, we are also required to uh, highlight the, these numbers as a data bars with the help of conditional formatting and also creating a heat map or a color scale so there are four different situations so the first step which I have done is uh, to copy and paste the, the data four times okay and uh, after that I have just formatted that uh, area or, or the data and now I will one by one apply the conditional formatting in each of this box or a data so in the first situation we are required to highlight top 10 uh, numbers for the three years month wise so I will go to home tab conditional formatting and here I will have uh, in the top bottom rules we have top 10 items so let's say we will select top 10 for green color and I will press OK so now I have defined top 10 values highlighted within this data uh, in, in the next data set we will again select the only the figures only the amounts area or the range and again we will go to the conditional formatting top bottom rules and bottom 10 items uh, with the red color so we have just defined two different situations on data sets now the third data set which is exactly the same on this data set we are required to create a data bars and for that similar steps going to the home tab conditional formatting and uh, select the color which you are required for the data bars to be uh, drawn on your data so I have selected the green color and last but not the least uh, uh, we are required to create a heat map or a color scale um, for lowest numbers we we need the light color and the highest numbers or the large numbers we need the dark colors for doing that again we will go to the conditional formatting color scales and we will click on more rules uh, select the color here so for the lowest value uh, let's say we will select light blue color and for the highest value let's say we select the dark blue color and press ok so this is appropriately right okay so after applying four different conditional formatting on on four data sets which are similar now what we are required is to give each range each data set a name so I have selected the first array first data set and I will go to the name box and I will write I will I will select now we are required to give each of the different situation a name uh, which is called the name range in Excel so I have selected the first data the first situation and I will go to the name box and I will write top 10 or any other name which you are required okay then I will go to the next situation the next data set where we have created the bottom 10 so I will go to the name box to define a name of this range so I will write bottom 10 next we have data bar situation so again I will select this data and I have given a name which is data bars and uh, last but not the least this is called the heat map alright so now uh, we have uh, first we have defined all the conditional formatting different scenarios to each of the data then we have defined each name range and if you, if you go to formulas and click on name manager you will find four different names you have just defined now the next step would be we will come to a next sheet where we need an interactive view based on clicking on the buttons and that conditional formatting uh, will change and that creates an interactive view to change the conditional formatting now for doing that you need a developer tab and in the developer tab you uh, need to insert 
the option button from the form controls category so I will click on the option button and I will draw uh, here in in the raw four and five which I have given the gray color here so we need four option buttons so I will copy this first option button and I will press control V for for the next option button similarly two more so I will paste the third one here and the fourth one and now you are required to link each of the option button as well uh, with a blank cell so I will click on the first option button right click and from this contextual menu you will click on format control and on the control tab you will find a field which is called cell link so you are required to link it with a self so for example in this scenario we have link uh, j4 with this option button and once you have link this option button with a blank cell it will create a incremental number so one two three and four so you are required to just link one option button and other option buttons will automatically generate number in in the same cell which you have linked alright uh, next step would be we need we are required to rename this as well because these name names are not relevant option button one so what we can do is uh, we will right click on this option button and here we will find uh, an option called edit text so you can select the entire text and give it, it a nice name for example top 10 then uh, the next option button bottom 10 the third option button right click click on edit text and give it a name according to your situation that was data bars and the last one is heat map heat map or color scale as you can see so now we have neat and nice names to each of the option button and they are also linked with a uh, extra cell or helper cell right now the next part would be uh, that uh, we we are required to create a dynamic name range and that will uh, be uh, be dependent on when we click on each of the button definitely the view the data will definitely uh, will be shown here on the on this sheet we are required to create a dynamic name range and for that first we need to uh, make our active cell which is the cell link uh, with, with these option buttons so I am uh, so I am on cell J4 and I will go to formulas tab and I will click on name manager and here we need we are required to create a dynamic name range with the help of a for with the help of a function that is called choose function so I will click on new and here I will write a neat and nice name so I will give CF selection for my understanding you can give any name which you are required or you understand better and in the reference to field I will start writing equals to choose bracket open uh, J4 is, is a cell which generates a number an inc incremental number so whenever I will click on any of the option button it will generate a number and choose functions what choose function will be doing it will uh, identify what is available in the index number and according to that it will choose uh, choose the view uh, from from that sequence so I have created four different situations uh, four different name ranges which I will uh, define here uh, so the first situation was top 10 uh, make sure that spelling should be correct uh, there is no issue with the case sensitive either you write in capital letters or small letters but the spelling should be correct so top 10 bottom 10 then we have data bars and last we have um, if you forget the names you can press F3 button and uh, you can just see the names if you are writing it correctly or not so I have written all the names um, very correctly yes data bars and the heat map last one so anytime you can press F3 here it will show you uh, the paste name window and from here you can just write the names as well so I will press OK and now we have the new name range which is called CF selection which is based on a function that is called choose function okay now the next step uh, the last step would be let me just turn off the grid lines from this spreadsheet and now the view is very clear so I will select an appropriate uh, range here uh, having some number of rows and columns and I uh, this is the blank area I will press Control C here and I will go to home tab and I will make this range as a link picture okay 
and once I have made this link picture I will connect all those scenarios which we have uh, given here uh, each of the different name and we put all these names into a name, dynamic name range so I will uh, on, on the formula bar I will just remove whatever is written so equals to I have given um, a range which is called CS selection so here you can see a name so I just wrote some initials and Excel is showing me that name range is spelling so I will press the tab key and I will just press enter so now you can see that uh, at, at this current position my heat uh, heat map option button is enabled and I can get the view of the heat map I can just resize this image as well if if I have I am required now when I click on top 10 you can see the uh, view has been changed and that top 10 has been called from the different sheet from a separate sheet to to this specific sheet bottom 10 data bars heat map so now you can see and understand that how easy it was to create an interactive condition formatting different situations which you can use later on on you for your dashboard reportings right uh, you can also use uh, for example you can also use one more uh, form controls which is also called uh, the combo box so for example if I uh, draw a combo box and I want that from this drop down menu when I select any of the situation that view comes in so this is also easy so let me demonstrate for you as well a uh, quick quickly so the first thing is that when whenever you insert any of the object from the form controls or active active X controls you are required to uh, link this object as well with a with with an Excel cell so that it should work for you so I will right click on this button and uh, I will go to the contextual menu uh, the last option which is called format control I will click on that now the input range means that when you open this drop down menu what you are required to see so I have already created a list of these four situations in my previous sheet so I have selected that range I will link this cell with J7 and I will press OK so now when you open this drop down menu you see four different names and when you click on any of the name uh, a, a series a, an incremental serial number is being generating in the cell J7 and that's the same logic so for example if I just select a random range blank range and I will press ctrl C for the copy paste as a link picture remember that you can't link this picture exactly with the CF selection which we did in the previous uh, example where we have the option buttons because within the CF selection name range we have link cell uh, J4 but here uh, from this for this drop down menu we have used uh, the extra cell uh, which is the J7 so we are required to have a name manager and we can we, uh, we need to create a new name um, new name range here and uh, the formula will exactly be the same for uh, for the choose function so what I will do is I will be on the active cell which is the J7 I will go to name manager click on new and here we will give a new ni nice name that is for example drop down CF and here I will again write the choose function so first function argument is the index number then I will write the four different names in a sequence which I have given as in, in, in the name ranges so the first one was uh, top 10 and if you forget you just need to press F3 and you can select from here as well so top 10 make sure the spelling should be correct uh, then you have the bottom 10 then you have uh, data bars and the last one is heat map I close the bracket press ok so now on on this link picture image I will go to the formula bar and I will remove whatever is written equals to drop down CF press the tab key press enter key and now from here when when from the drop down menu you select any of the situation uh, the conditional formatting definitely changes so at the same time you can see two different conditional formatting with two different uh, uh, buttons or, or the objects as well so I hope you like this technique you can apply in your dashboards as well thank you so much do share